What's up, Dolphins fans? We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the trade deadline, some trade targets, some guys we might we might trade, and then just different different guys around the league that might get traded, even to other other teams that are not the Dolphins. Um, but before that, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start with with a guy that it's been speculated that we might might trade away. Um, that's Mike Gusecki. I think that he ha he hasn't really fit in this in this offense as as well as as he would he would in in the past years maybe in the in that offense last year, but but he he's still he's still a great player. He's not really known for his blocking, more of his re receiving and getting down the field. I as much as I don't want them to trade Mike Gusecki, um, I think they might. I think it's possible that they do. They 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 can get a lot for him, a uh, a higher higher round draft pick. So if if the opportunity is there, I, I think they'll do it. Um, some teams I think they might they might trade him to or that might want him are the Packers. They've struggled with their their pass game. The the Giants. Um, they're they're contending this year. Might want to add another piece. They they also don't have. Um, many, really any like wide receivers they traded for. They traded Kadarius Tony, so they don't really have a a main guy. I think their leading wide receiver has like less than two hundred yards, so they might want to, might want to get a guy like Osiki where he's a tight end, but he can also get down the field. And then the Bucks, they've been struggling. Um, maybe try and make the make a move for him. But those are really my top three teams. I think might might want him, um, in, in no in no particular order. But but I th I think those those teams might be might be engaging with the with the Dolphins trying to get Mike Kosicki. Um Now now for the Dolphins um, and the, the the other players that I think might get traded. Um, we're gonna start with Jerry Judy. Um, he played in Alabama with Tua. Um, great, great player. I'm not. I don't think we we don't need another wide receiver. But, but if he does get traded, which if they lose on on Sunday against the uh, the Jaguars, they're saying that they might just trade their main guy, main main guys. Um, not not including Sertan Wilson. They just got him, but like Judy. Um, Bradley Chubb, we'll talk about him right after this. KJ Hamler, but but I think if if he's available, um, the Dolphins might might make a call. I'm not saying that it that should be our main priority, but I think that he the way he 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 connected with Tua at Alabama was just was just great, and that's why he was great route running. Um, really, they he hasn't gone. He hasn't shown his full potential in in Denver, so so I wouldn't be surprised if the Dolphins try and make a move for him. Then on the other side, on the defensive side of that that team, Bradley Chubb, um, I think that that would be great if we can we can add him. Um, great, great, great pass rusher. He's we we need that. We need to be able to put pressure on the on the quarterback. We've been struggling doing that. Um, Again, this all depends on if they if they lose on on Sunday against the Jaguars, they're they're gonna trade their players there and try and regain some of those draft picks that they traded away for Russell Wilson. But but this one is another one that I think it's it's possible. Mike McDaniel has done stuff that even with Tyreek Hill, it, it nobody expected it. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few few guys that we or a guy that we trade for that was completely unexpected um but this is another guy i think that he would help us a lot especially uh putting pressure on the quarterback then we have william jackson from the commanders he he wanted he's he wants to get traded out of there cornerback um 30 years old but we we might we wouldn't have to trade a lot a lot for him but but just just we need we need depth there. We need um someone to pair up with with Xavier Howard for the time being. 
we don't know how long Byron Jones is going to be out. We don't know, you know, we're, we're very depleted in the secondary. So, so yeah, that's another guy I think that, that it's possible that we get. Um, that, that one I, I see, like, it's probably more possible that we can get him because it's not going to cost as much as some of the, the other, these other guys. Um, but then on the defensive line of that team, Darren Payne, he's the, the commanders, they've, they did win last week, but, um, they're, I think they're still trying to, trying to rebuild and, and maybe try and compete in that, in that tough division. They're, they're really behind that division is one of the, the best in the league, but I think this is another one, the same Dar- Darren Payne, um, defensive tackle would help us help us put pressure on the quarterback which is what we what we need like I've been saying um him or Bradley Chubb that, w- that would be huge um but I, I think they might they might focus more on on that cornerback position get a guy like William Jackson that you don't have to trade a lot away for and and just see see how everything plays out from there but I think I think that and Cornerback and defensive line should be the main main priorities. Um, then we have a guy where well, he was one of the best pass rushers in his prime. Have he's had some injuries. Um, JJ Watt, he's he's he hasn't really really played that much. He's been been injured really really with the with the Cardinals when he got traded. He hasn't he hasn't played um, a lot of a lot of games. Due to injury, I think that that he might he might get traded. the The Cardinals they they are they're like in the they're three and four. They're they're trying to stay in that playoff race, get in that in that in those playoffs. Excuse me. Um, and that division that they're in is very close with the Seahawks, the the Rams, the Forty ers So even though I think that. You you would think that they want to add more and get better players. I think that they might might try and get JJ Watt and try and get a high, a uh, a mid to high round draft pick, um, because he is getting towards the end of his career, and and maybe try and get get someone in the future, um, and then we have Raquan Raquan Smith, Raquan Smith, um, we ju- we just saw. His teammate, his teammate got traded. Um, I I do not know if if we have the draft capital to to really trade for him because he's gonna. They were demanding a lot more. I don't think they're the the Bears are gonna pay him just because of. I think they need more. They need like uh, their main focus is on other pieces like building around. Justin Fields on that offensive line, maybe some receivers, but but yeah, that's a that's a name to watch out for. Would be huge if we could get him. Linebacker would be one of the the best linebackers we've had in a while. Um that that would really be huge. And then we're gonna talk about some two running backs really quickly. Cam Akers. Um Cam Akers, he's he's really he. The Rams drafted him and things things were like whatever it was it was fine, he was playing well, and then he got hurt and then going into this season, I think he did play play in the playoffs but not as much as he would normally play, but then he went into this season he was supposed to be the guy the starting guy and then. Week one, he just he barely got but got snaps, and then um, they just McVeigh said that they were gonna try and trade him. That it's not the best fit f- for him here. So that that's a guy I don't I don't think we're gonna get him. Um, maybe see him go to a team like maybe the Commanders. Uh, they swap um, Antonio Gibson with them, um, or maybe the the Bills. The Bills, I think they're gonna be in, in for trying to getting a a running back, a star running back, because that would kind of like complete their offense. So, and then another guy that I think 
the Bills are probably going to be involved in trying to get and the Dolphins might be involved to get is Alvin Kamara. Some reports have been saying that he's been the the talk of the trade deadline and that he might get traded. I I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's maybe because of the they're trying to rebuild and just build around that young core with Alave. Um, but this would this is very interesting because the Dolphins like right now the Dolphins have the eleventh pick for next year's draft in the because they have the the Niners pick so. When if we if the liners keep losing and we keep going higher, I don't I don't expect us to take a running back like Bijan Robinson. Um so I I mean it's it all depends really what what McDaniel if he if he thinks it's it's gonna help us in the long term because and better benefit this team than getting a guy in the draft. Um let me tell you guys right now, Brian, uh, Bijan, Bijan Robinson, he's, he's had, I, I believe he's a, he's a junior and he's had three tremendous years with, uh, with Texas. Um, he just the other day, last Saturday, he actually had, um, like 150 yards, two touchdowns. He's, he's a receiving back, um, as well. He can, he can do quite about everything but if we have the 11th pick he it seems like he's gonna go later in the first round maybe even drop drop to the second round because there's not really a lot of teams that need a running back um that that that's not their main um concern but but i do think like let's say the niners lose um this week i know it's early in the season still but if they lose they drop to three and Three and five, I think it'll be your three and six. Um, yeah, three and three and five, I believe. Um, that's that puts us like in the top ten, and I don't think we'll take a running back. Maybe like an offensive line, offensive tackle, um, maybe even a a cornerback. Um, but yeah, I think that Camaro that that'll be great. Um, if you don't have to trade away a first round pick, then I think yeah, go go for it. Maybe straight away Edmonds. He hasn't really gotten on track here. I think that Kamara is a great talent. Receiving back as well can do quite about everything. Um, so yeah, that's the the really the main guys. I would like Jerry Judy. I would. I I know we don't have, we don't we don't need another wide receiver. But just imagine like having Tyree Kill, Waddle, and Judy. That like. That that would be great. We would, we would be like another step ahead of, of some of these other contending teams. The only thing is when, these, these players like like we have Tyreek Hill for another four or five years, um I think it was four four years, um we have Waddle for another another four years. The, this is including, including this year, um for his rookie contract and then judy i think we would have him for two years under his rookie contract so really we would have to we would probably if we would trade for for jerry judy we'd have to we'd have to decide who we're gonna pay um the only way we would be able to pay them all is if we let a guy go like xavier howard or or manuel agba and then we have to pay a guy like on the defensive end javon holland um, Jalen Phillips. This this is all when they're Christian Wilkins when they're out of their rookie contracts. But that's a lot of money, and we got Waddle, Phillips, and Holland all in the same in the same um, year. So so if we don't if we don't have to give up a lot for for Judy, and it's not gonna be like like if it's like a maybe. Th- if it's a third, maybe a second round pick, okay, uh, like go for it. But um, if it's a first round pick, definitely not. Um, not because of his talent, not because of his skill level or anything, just because it won't benefit us in the long term. Um, but let me know what you guys think. It's a very exciting, exciting week in football. Obviously, we have Sunday, Sunday football. We have some big games there. 
one of the more more exciting weeks in my opinion some big games rams and niners um then on sunday night we have the the bills and the excuse me and the packers that should that should be a big game for for the bills um i don't think the the packers are going to be able to keep up with them then another game i'm excited for is the cardinals and vikings excited for that one um and then a game that a game that two two unexpected teams that really are overperforming the giants and seahawks i want to see how that one plays out um i'm obviously excited for the dolphins game but those are some other games um i would i would look for and then games that can impact the dolphins um gonna wrap it up here because we're, we're getting into the, the playoff race the we're getting into that that time of year now um the Bengals and the browns the Bengals lost jamar chase hope he hope he, he gets well quickly um one of the top receivers in the league just in year two um that's a big game if the browns can win that one um let's see like I said, the Broncos and Jaguars, not necessarily for the playoff picture, but for the trade deadline, stuff like that. Um, then then the Niners and Rams for our draft pick. That's That game is, that game I think is going to be the game of the week with the Cardinals and the Vikings game. Um, there's going to be a lot of good games this week. And then that that Packers and Bills game, like I just just said um the bills are probably going to win that game so that's not really going to affect us in a in a positive way and then we also have the the patriots and jets a division matchup need to need the patriots to win that game um to stay close close with the jets get a get a lead on them um lost Brees hall hopefully hope he, he heals quickly too a lot of guys getting injured um but yeah, that that's the video. Let me know what you guys think about any trade targets. Um guys you want to see us get that maybe I didn't mention. Um but but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and fins up.